Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Got another charge controller to check out. Um, not mine. Just somebody asked me to look it up, see how it works. Supposedly a hundred amp solar charge controller MPPT and X Room is the brand and this is the manual that comes with it and it is awful. It's got this stuff in the background makes it very difficult to read at least in my case and they go into a lot about <clears throat> um, how a battery charges and how it works and but they don't tell you a whole lot about actually using it and it was kind of discouraging as far as that goes so I dug around online and I found there's a bunch of them that look just like this but they got different names and different decorations on them but I found uh, Palmister has one that I believe is the uh, same general thing and their manual doesn't have that background on it so you know they show you about the different coils and stuff but you know that doesn't help you operate the thing and uh, tells you about constant current charging constant voltage float charging what you can use it for some mounting instructions gotta have room around it, of course, you know, that's common sense. And they have some stuff on the display. And if it's got faults, you know, I'll show you stuff. And it tells you a lot about setting up the, the load. Which, you know, I don't know a lot of people that actually use that portion of it. I never have. So, the manual doesn't do a whole lot of good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up to my 24 volt um, Red Odoo, which I'm using here on my house system. And the batteries show that they're charged up already this morning. So, I'll put a load on it and we'll see what happens. We'll run them down a little bit. We'll see how this thing acts when, you know, it thinks the batteries are full. Of course, I don't run mine all the way up to 14.2 uh, or 14.6. I slack them back a little bit. So the lithium setting on this, it might, um, you know, want to bring them up more. So let me get some wires around here. And and we'll see. Oh, yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I just got uh, some number 10 with some clip wires, which I'm just going to run from the output side, battery side over my batteries. And I got a piece of number 12 too, which I'm running out here. And I got a couple of uh, 250 watt solar panels laying outside. And today's not exactly a wonderful day to be doing this but it's what we got to work with so it'll be like a real world test I guess so let me hook up some wires and we'll see what she does pretty busy grumbling about how I didn't like the manual I didn't really show you a lot about the <laughs> unit itself so maybe I better do that um, on the tag here 
This one's the model uh, MPPT BOX K5000W and it's auto 12 volt, 24 volt, and 48 volt selection. And 12 volt system, the uh, maximum open circuit voltage says 18 to 96, 1250 watts. 24 volt system, 36 to 108 volts and 2,500 watts, 48 volt system, 72 to 150 open circuit, 5,000 watts. So it does have uh, some pretty nice looking heat sinks in there. And we got ventilation there which is on the back, which there is a little offset here, but that's not a not a whole lot. This is the bottom ventilation, a little bit on the sides, and then the top's got a lot of ventilation, which is, is good for airflow, but not so good if anything gets dropped down in there. And I can see a fan there and a fan there. And we got pretty nice looking beefy yeah you can't see them can you nice beefy looking terminal connection so oh and a temperature sensor did come with it and we got a a com port and two USB uh, 5 volt 2 amp ports and I didn't see any mention about using that in that manual that come with it and of course we got some buttons and the display in the front. So I guess this is a by the seat of your pants figure it out deal. So now let's get some wires hooked. Okay, I got the uh, battery wires hooked in here. I'm going to clip them on the battery now. Let's see what happens. Spark, and we got some fans. And we've got a display, which is really faint looking. From where I'm at, and where you're at too. So, okay, fans shut down. Let me see if I can get a little better uh, view on this thing. Okay, that's a little better. If in real life, when you look at it right direct on, it's really a nice clear display. So. We've got a picture of a solar panel, battery amps, not sure what that is, says the load's on, load amperage, says evening, interval dawn, that must be to set up the load parameters, uh, PV off, 27.6 volts, which is what my uh, batteries are at load off so apparently it'll turn a load off at 21.4 load on 25.2 so let's see this says reset plus minus now yeah, let's just push some buttons load off load on. 24 hours evening. Okay, so that is doing doing me much good now, is it? <laughs> okay, it says my batteries are 93%. I don't know how it would know that because I haven't told it anything yet. Doesn't know what size they are. Hmm. I'm going to look in that manual one more time, see if I can see anything about setting this thing up. Okay, looking in the manuals, it, uh, nowhere does it tell you that you can change things or whatever, or how to do it. It says it support three charging lead acid battery options, sealed, gel, and flooded. 
So there's no mention of being able to use this on lithium. So that's pretty discouraging that you can't set anything. So because that's what I have. <laughs> um, so I guess at this point, let's. Uh, I'll get some solar hooked up to it, and we'll just see what it shows on the screen. Apparently, there's no. It's plug and play, and that's it. You better like it. Got the wires hooked up into the unit. I do like the uh, the terminal connection, so so I'm gonna go out and plug in the solar panel so you guys can see what happens when I do that. I had 69 volts open circuit on the PV2. They're hooked in series. Okay, so we're showing 61 volts on the PV. Batteries at 27.4. Mine says 27.8. So it would be nice to know how many watts it's doing, wouldn't it? It says my batteries are 100%. Let me turn on. I got a 250 watt load here. I'm going to turn on. I'm going to turn my solar stuff off that I have hooked to those batteries now. So this is the only thing charging those batteries. The fan came on on my inverter. That is not the fans on this, if, if you can hear that. Okay. Battery voltage, okay, 27.1. Battery amperage, okay, 7.4. So I guess it toggles here with the amps and the volts. And it settled into 57 volts on the PV. 2.2, well, sun's changing. Yeah, looks like we got a cloud. So it is charging. 1.7 amps on the PV. 3.4 amps on the battery. So the MPPT portion of it works fine. It does have a nice clear display. Just wish they had some better instructions for it and you were able to get in and change some parameters. So, I'm going to let it run for a little bit and I'll bring you guys back if I see something worth mentioning. Oh, the sun came out from behind the cloud. So we got four, yeah, we got 12, 13.9 amps going into the battery, 14.6, and about 8.1 on the, the panel. So the MP, MPPT part works good. So we're getting 14 amps out of her. Which considering, you know, the panels are just thrown flat on the ground and it is a hazy, hazy day, so. You know, I think the unit probably is, is fine if you uh, have lead acid and just want something plug and play. You can't change anything, or if you can, they don't tell you how. So, I do have permission to open this up and 
and look in it. So I think we ought to do that before we uh, shut her down. Okay, got her all disconnected. There's three screws on the side and two on the bottom. See how short a tether we have on the display. Huh, not bad. Okay, so there's what we got. A couple of fans, some uh, torator coils, which you know you gotta have if it's MPPT. <laughs> and we got some capacitors that are 220 volt, 470 microfarads. And like I say, nice heavy uh, connections. I, I do like those. And we got some bus bars here to go from, I would guess, from the input up to the where the uh, MOSFETs and stuff are. I was trying to see if I could tell what was what, but pretty hard to, to tell. Um, see if there's any kind of labeling. Looks like we got something right here. It's, you know, a lot of heavy heavy duty stuff here. And the same up here, so say I'm no electronic wizard, but I would say there's probably some MOSFETs in this area here and here. So looks like a MOV there. So it's actually fairly simple looking inside. That's probably why you can't change anything because you know it's pretty well set in stone what it's going to do. So it probably would be a dependable unit if you have lead acid. Probably work good. But in my case this this wouldn't work for me. But it seems well built, you know, metal case and everything. I like that instead of plastic. So, you know, it's got its good points and bad points. The uh, the manual is quite disappointing that they don't tell you much about the actual operation of it. So, I'll let you guys decide what you think of it. I showed you what I could, you know, it's by, not by far a, a good test because, you know, panels are laying in the driveway. I got a long piece of number 12 wire coming in. Of course, that's plenty adequate for the amperage that's coming from them. And some number 10 going to the batteries. You know, that should be a adequate too, but, you know, not exactly ideal. What would be nice is to have, you know, a couple thousand watts worth of solar we can put into that baby and, and make her work, but. I guess it looks fairly well built to me. So, you guys decide. You know, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I think I got a another uh, battery charger to, to go through again. I think it'll do 35 amps on 12 volts. And it'll do... Uh, Lithium too, so look forward to that.